Hi. And welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Earth. Good day. <laughs> welcome to the big show. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. A. Good to be back with you online. Uh, the other day, we were taking a look at some of these warm-ups that were kind of stumping you guys, and uh, you guys were getting a little upset because you couldn't get them, and so that's all right. I told you that I'd show them to you again so that you could take them home, maybe uh, amaze your family and friends, right? If that uh, New Year's Eve party starts to get a little boring, just bust some of these math warm-ups out. Show them what skills you got, and then uh, you'll be the life of the party, okay? So here's the first one. Uh, we've got 10 discs that are stacked like a triangle or a pyramid, let's say, and they are pointing in one direction. Okay, we'll say they're pointing up because uh, here's the apex. Okay, right here, the triangle. And what we want to do is move only three discs so that it's now pointing in the other direction. Okay, so how are we going to do it? Well, go ahead and use that pause button freely as you like, and then uh, maybe gather some friends around, challenge them, and then show off your skills when you do this, right? If you remember, what we did is we just moved the two corner discs, and then we moved the one from the apex down to its new position. So only three discs, now we make it point in the other direction. Pretty cool, right? Okay, here's another one. Here's a math problem. It's definitely incorrect. Okay, one plus one is not equal to six, but moving only one stick will make it correct. So which one stick should be moved? Well, just to let you know, this number one right here is composed of two sticks because you you might notice the break in the number one. Okay, the plus sign is composed of only two sticks, and you get the picture. So go ahead and use pause button. See which one you want to move because you can only move one stick to make it a correct math problem. Well, if you remember, here we go. Let's move that one from the plus sign, make it a minus sign, and now we have seven minus one equals six. That one definitely works. So there you go, I'll just give you a couple for now, make you tune in some other time, but uh, just remember, like I said, the party gets a little dull, break out these math problems, and just remember, you need a little extra money before you go busting out all your teeth uh, hoping that the tooth fairy is going to come by and leave you some money underneath your pillow. Maybe you can bet uh, grandma or grandpa or a couple cousins when you're getting together for the holidays, right? Uh, maybe they can take a look at these, not get them as quick as you can, whatever. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great break, and uh, we'll see you January 4th.